In the turbulent tides of history, few figures have made waves as significant as Napoleon Bonaparte. A man of extraordinary talent, boundless ambition, and an ego to match, his ascent to power was as dramatic as it was influential. But every epic tale has its genesis, and for Napoleon, that genesis was his first campaign. This is the story of a young, unproven general who would go on to shape the destiny of nations. In the year 1796, Europe was in the throes of the Revolutionary Wars. Amidst this chaos, a young French general, merely 26 years of age, was handed the command of a beleaguered, demoralized army stationed in northern Italy. This was his first command, and many skeptics expected him to falter. However, in a stunning turn of events, this young general, Napoleon Bonaparte, led his army to a series of victories, winning his first brilliant campaign within a month. With an audacious blend of self-confidence, daring and relentless energy, he transformed the war in Europe, earning the gratitude of the French Republic and etching his name into the annals of history. The year 1792 had seen Europe plunged into conflict due to the revolution in France. Initially, it appeared that this nascent republic would be swiftly snuffed out by its neighboring monarchies. However, France rallied against the odds, leveraging mass mobilization, patriotic fervor, and its traditional military prowess. By 1795, France had conquered the Low Countries, while Prussia and Spain had withdrawn from the war. Despite these victories, the French Republic was still besieged by a formidable coalition of adversaries, including the Austrian Empire, the kingdoms of Piedmont Sardinia, Naples, and Great Britain. Additionally, it faced a counter-revolutionary revolt in the Vendée region of western France. In Paris, the Directory, a committee of five members known for its corruption and inefficiency, governed France. In 1796, the Directory planned a significant military offensive to eliminate their most dangerous adversary, Austria. Two main assaults would be launched along the Rhine by powerful armies under General Jordan and General Moreau. A third, less expected effort would be made in northern Italy. The Army of Italy, as it was known, was in a pitiful state, starved of funds and supplies, its ranks thinned to reinforce the French forces on the Rhine. However, its fortunes were about to change dramatically. On March 2nd, 1796, the Directory appointed a new commander to lead the army, Napoleon Bonaparte. This marked the beginning of a campaign that would not only change the course of the war, but also set the stage for one of history's most remarkable careers. Napoleon Bonaparte, the newly appointed commander, was an unconventional choice. Born in Corsica, his family had moved to France when he was just nine years old. His accent marked him as an outsider, and his meteoric rise through the ranks had earned him a fair share of adversaries. However, Napoleon was not one to be deterred by such challenges. His military acumen and indomitable will were his greatest assets, and he was determined to turn the tide in France's favour. From the moment he assumed command, Napoleon set about transforming the army of Italy. He delivered impassioned speeches, promising his men glory and riches. He enforced strict discipline, but also ensured his soldiers were well-provisioned and equipped. He drilled them relentlessly, morphing a ragged, demoralized force into a formidable army. Then he led them into battle. Against all odds, Napoleon's army began to secure victories. They vanquished the Austrians and Piedmontese in a series of brilliant engagements, forcing them to retreat. Each victory bolstered the morale of the French troops and enhanced Napoleon's reputation. By the end of the campaign, Napoleon was not merely a successful general, he was a national hero. His triumphs in Italy had saved the French Republic from potential disaster and had secured France a powerful position in Europe. But more importantly, they had unveiled the power of Napoleon's military genius to the world. The young general from Corsica had made his mark on the global stage, and he was here to stay. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of Napoleon's first campaign, we realize the significance of this period in shaping the man who would become one of history's most iconic figures. His strategic brilliance, his ability to inspire his troops, and his unyielding determination were all forged in the crucible of this campaign. 
It was here that the world got its first glimpse of the leader Napoleon would become, the leader who would leave an indelible mark on history. So, as we journey through the annals of history, exploring the life and times of Napoleon Bonaparte, let us not forget the humble beginnings of this extraordinary man. For it was in the trenches of his first campaign that the foundations of his legendary career were laid. Following his appointment, Napoleon wasted no time in making his presence felt. He immediately set about reorganizing the army of Italy, instilling a sense of discipline and purpose that had been sorely lacking. He understood that morale was a crucial factor in any military campaign, and he worked tirelessly to inspire his men, promising them glory and wealth beyond their wildest dreams. Napoleon's leadership style was a blend of stern discipline and paternal care. He demanded the best from his men, but he also ensured they were well-fed and equipped. He was known to visit the sick and wounded, offering words of comfort and ensuring they received the best care possible. These actions earned him the respect and loyalty of his men, who were willing to follow him into the heart of battle. And into battle they went. Despite being heavily outnumbered and facing seasoned Austrian and Piedmontese forces, the French army, under Napoleon's command, began to win. They secured victory after victory, pushing their enemies back and forcing them to retreat. Napoleon's strategic brilliance was on full display during these battles. He utilized the principles of speed, surprise and concentration of force to great effect, often turning the tide of battle in his favor. By the end of the campaign, Napoleon had not only secured northern Italy for France, but had also established himself as a force to be reckoned with. His victories had saved the French Republic from potential disaster and had given France a powerful position in Europe. But more than that, they had marked the emergence of a new military genius on the world stage. Napoleon's first campaign was a testament to his military prowess and leadership skills. It was a glimpse into the future, a preview of the remarkable career that lay ahead. The young general from Corsica had proven his critics wrong and had shown the world what he was capable of. And this was just the beginning. The aftermath of the campaign saw a transformation not just in the geopolitical landscape of Europe, but also in Napoleon himself. The victories had bolstered his confidence, and he began to see himself as a man of destiny. He believed that he was chosen to shape the fate of nations, a belief that would guide his actions in the years to come. Napoleon's success in Italy had far-reaching consequences. It had saved the French Republic from potential collapse and had significantly strengthened France's position in Europe. It had also established Napoleon as a national hero, a status that he would leverage to climb the political ladder in the years to come. But perhaps the most significant impact of the campaign was on the man himself. The experiences of the campaign, the challenges he had overcome, and the victories he had achieved all served to shape Napoleon. They forged his character, honed his military genius, and fueled his ambition. The Napoleon who emerged from the Italian campaign was a man ready to take on the world. In the years that followed, Napoleon would continue to rise, eventually crowning himself Emperor of the French. He would lead his armies across Europe, winning spectacular victories and reshaping the continent in the process. His actions would leave a lasting impact on the world, influencing the course of history long after his death. As we look back on the life and career of Napoleon Bonaparte, it is essential to remember the significance of his first campaign. It was the crucible in which the future emperor was forged, the launching pad for one of history's most remarkable careers. It was the beginning of the legend of Napoleon Bonaparte, a legend that continues to captivate us to this day.